Okay, good afternoon, students. Um, okay, good afternoon, students. Um, so last class, we talked about how to say you like to do something. You like to run or you like to swim um, or you like running and you like swimming. So you can have to plus a verb or no to and just verb ing. So today we will talk a little bit more about activities. Today we will talk about sports and games. So sports and games. These are things that we can do inside or outside, different kinds of games that we can do. So I will go through a few games and then I will also tell you how to use them in a sentence because different games and activities we say in a different way. So this is about sports and games. So yes, like I said, last time we talked about activities that you like to do. Today we will talk more about things you do do. So we will use verb one, and but we will not use uh, a verb like. So we're not talking about what you like to do. We are talking about what you do. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't like it, but things that you do. And again, every time students try to draw on the screen, I don't know why. Okay, I will stop you from doing it. Okay, so we can start now. Clear your drawings. <laughs> I admit students. Okay. So today we'll discuss talk about, discuss, talk uh, about different sports and games, as well as the verb used with each one. So different things we do, we will say different verbs. I will go through each one and talk to you about it. But first, we will just review some sports and games. I think most of these you should know but maybe some of them you do not. I think one will be new to you, um, maybe a couple, I don't know. So I will show you the word and it will have missing letters. Some letters will be missing, some letters will be there. It will show you how many letters and you can try to guess what sport or game this is. If you cannot guess from just the letters, uh, I will also show you a picture. But maybe you can guess just from the letters, just looking at the letters. See how many letters there are and what letters there are. So first one, I'll start a little bit easy. I think this is a very common sport. So you know what sport this is. It has eight letters. O T do A um football. Ah, if you don't know, uh, Nasi plays football. Yeah, very good. Yes. Now about this one. Badminton. Nine letter. Oh, badminton. Yes, correct. Here is a picture. These are what you use to play badminton. Do any of you play badminton? Do you like badminton? Nobody. <laughs> okay, this is badminton. B A D M I N T O N. So, how about this word? This is a basketball. 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 <laughs> Do you know basketball. how to spell basketball? Basketball. B. <laughs> this is not correct. <laughs> The B, the A is here. This is S. Change the two letters. I made a mistake. But yes, basketball. Mm -hmm. Now about this one. Maybe you do not play this in Thailand. In Canada, we play this a lot. 
which is the most common sport in Canada. Now, now do you know what sport this is? Hockey. Ah, hockey. hockey. Do you know how to spell hockey? H. O. O. C. A. N. Y. Hockey. Hockey. How about this one? This is very famous in Thailand. Muay Thai. Ah. Muay Thai. <laughs> Muay Thai. <laughs> ah. Do anybody, does, does any student like to do Muay Thai? Oh, you can do? Yes. Oh, you are dangerous. Oh my God. <laughs> Muay Thai, M-U-A-Y-T-H-A-I. Muay Thai is very famous in Thailand. I like to watch Muay Thai, but I do not like to do Muay Thai. Only watch. I am too scared. <laughs> How about this one? This is another sport, uh, very famous in Thailand. We do not have in Canada or America, maybe only in ASEAN countries. Maybe I can show you a picture and you will know. I don't know. What is this one? You know what sport this is? Sepak Tako. Sepak Tako. And in English, we spell S E P A K. T A K R A W. Say Paktaga. Do not say it correctly. This is a Thai word, so it is difficult for me. Um, this another sport I do not play. I am nervous to play, but I like to watch. is very interesting. I like it. How about this one? This is baseball. Ah, very famous in America. It's baseball. So here is a picture of baseball. Baseball is spelled B A S E B A L L. Baseball. The next one, maybe you know, maybe you don't know. Swimming. Swimming. This is not a game. This is a sport. Swimming. Yes. Here is a picture of swimming. It is spelled S W I M M I N G. So if you just spell swim, it is S W I M. But if you add I N G, you must add another M. So S W I M M I N G. The next one, I don't think you will get. This one may be new to you. And I don't think any of you have done it before. Well, I hope you have not. Uh, and you know what this is? Only missing three letters because I think it is difficult. It is made up of two words together. Sky. Die. Skydiving. Do you know skydiving? Here is a picture of skydiving. Uh, I, I did this one time. I have done this, but I was very scared and <laughs> I do not like it. I will never do it again. Oh my God. Not, not fun for me. Just, I was just scared. <laughs> skydiving. Okay, so there are some sports and some games uh, to review. I think most of them you have heard of and you know. Maybe you do not know the English name and skydiving maybe is new. Oh, one more. I forgot. This one. Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Yes, I see students at Anuban Pichin. Taekwondo. Taekwondo. So Taekwondo is T-A-E. K W O N D O. Taekwondo. 
Okay. So next, um, with different sports, games, and activities, we use different verbs for each one. But it is one of three. There's only three verbs that we will use for each one. So the first one is play. The second one is go. The third one is do. So we will either play, go, or do a game or a sport or activity. There's only these three. So I will talk about each one to tell you when to say each one. So first is play. Um, play in Thai, you say lane for many things, but for English, we say play for a game. Usually, with teams, you have one team and one team, and they will play a game together. Also, there will be one winner and one loser. So somebody will win. And also usually has a ball, some kind of ball or something similar to a ball, something like that. For games and sports that have teams, have a winner and loser, and use a ball, for these three things we will say play. So now I will go through some examples to show you about how to use a sentence for games that use the verb play. So these are examples of play. So football. You say, I play football, we play football, you play football. Why? Because football has teams. We'll have two teams to play each other. One team will win and one team will lose, or it maybe can be a draw or a tie, um, but usually one team will win, one team will lose. Um, and there is a ball. Obviously, football will have a ball. So another badminton. badminton, badminton has two teams and one team will win, one team will lose. And it does not have a ball, but it's similar to a ball, almost a ball, similar to tennis. And the last one, rugby. So rugby is another one, it has teams, it has one winner, one loser, and there is a ball. Okay, so how about do? For do, we use do for activities that usually they have no teams. They're not teams. And sometimes there can be a winner, but you can also do it with no winner. There is no winner, no loser. And usually there is not a ball. There is no ball. So I will go through some examples of do. So examples of do. So first is Muay Thai. Muay Thai, there are not teams. There is no team. There is one person and one person. And in a competition, if they are going to fight, there will be a winner and loser, but not always. You can practice Muay Thai. You can practice punching and kicking and ducking. You can practice and there is no winner, no loser. Most days, if you do Muay Thai, there will not be a winner or loser. You will just practice and there will be no winner, no loser. And there is no ball in Muay Thai. There is not a ball to hit or to move, to kick. So another example is Taekwondo. Again, there are no teams. It's one person against another person. Uh, this is also in competitions. If you are in a, trying to win a competition, there can be a winner and a loser, but you can also do every day at Anuban Pichit. I think you did in grade one and two and grade three. And there is no winner, there is no loser. It's just a class that you go and do Taekwondo. And of course, it, 
with Taekwondo, there is no ball. We don't have a ball. And last one, gymnastics. So there are different types of gymnastics um, and there are no teams usually. You can have a gymnastics team, but they will do different things. There is not everybody doing at the same time. They do not do gymnastics all at the same time. There is usually one person at a time. And then they will get a score out of 10. And in a competition, again, there will be a winner. Um, but in everyday gymnastics, you can go and do gymnastics and there will be no winner, no loser. It's just for fun, just to have fun and do good for your body. And again, with gymnastics, there is no ball. There is no ball in gymnastics. Okay, and so there is one more verb that we use. This, I think, is the easiest one for you to know if you use play, do, or go. If the word ends in I-N-G, then we use the word go. So I think this one is pretty easy. If you see an activity, and you will know that it has I-N-G at the end. So some examples, swimming. Swimming ends in I-N-G. So we say go swimming. I go swimming, you go swimming, we go swimming. Ends in I-N-G, we use go. Also running. Running also ends in I-N-G. Um, for these ones, there can be a winner, a loser, there can be teams. Uh, usually there is not a ball, but you don't have to think about that. Just if it ends in ing, then it will be go. So one more, bike riding. So bike riding, riding ends in ing. So we will use the verb go. I think this one is the easiest out of all of them for you to know. So there are a few things in English. English is not an easy language. It is always, um, usually, not summer, summer, not always. So go and do uh, is one of these. There is so an exercise. Exercise is an activity. You can say do or you can say go. You can say both. It's okay. So example, I do exercise. So this is an activity. There are no teams. There is no winner or loser. And there is no ball. It's just exercise. But if you add ing, then you say I go swimming. You will use the word, verb go if you add ing. And remember, if you have ing, you will erase the e. There is no e if you add ing. Okay. So next is sentence structure. How to write or say a sentence in English with play, go, do, plus an activity, a game or a sport. So for play, you have the subject, who, who is doing it. Um, I use these words, subject, verb, and object, often in teaching. So please try to remember the subject is the person doing an action, doing a verb. So subject, I play, you play, Nana plays. Can be any but the person who does. And then play or plays and plus the game. So I play football, or you play badminton, or do is the subject plus do or does, and then the activity that you are doing. And for go, subject plus go or goes plus verb ing, so swimming or running. Uh, if you look at plays, for he, she, and it, you will add an S. But for go and do, you will add ES. 
for both of these words, you will add ES, not S, because do and go end in O. Play ends in Y, so you do not add ES. Just ES for do and go. Also, plays, you do not change Y to I E S. It's not like this. P L A I E S. No, because there is an A before the Y. So you do not change the Y to I E S. Just P L A Y S. Okay, so this is a very simple sentence structure, I think. It can be more complicated, but we will start the easiest. So some examples, these are pretty easy. I play golf. Tong Jai does Muay Thai. And goes dancing. So again, with dancing, dance ends with an E. You must erase the E and add I-N-G. Okay, so now we will do some practice. So I will give you some sentences and you can write in the chat, okay? Write in the chat the word play, plays, do, does, go, or goes. So remember, for I, you, we, they, or two or more names. You write play, do, go. He, she, it, or just one name. Use plays, does, or goes. Okay? So write in the chat your answer. So the first one. I. Da, 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 skating. You write in the chat a missing word. What word is missing? Is play, do, go, plays, does, or goes. So what word is missing? I. Da, da, skating. It has I and E. So it is not play, do, plays, or does. And is I. So it is not goes. It is goes. Okay. So next one. She. Da, da, da. Volleyball. Oh, it is volleyball. Do play. What am I gonna? Talk. There is too much time being broken. So I have to mute you students. I hear a lot of Thai. Maybe you are speaking with your parents, which is okay but is not for this class. Um, so please write in chat. Why are you not writing in the chat? Nobody is writing. What word? She, da da da, volleyball, ah, okay. Nuki, thank you. Yes, Nuki, correct. Volleyball has teams. There is a winner and a loser. And there is a ball. So is play. Is she? So add an S. So this is play. Yes. Okay. Now it's correct too. So next one. You, da, 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 archery. Maybe you do not know archery, so I put in Thai. 
So, is there a ball and teams? There is no ball, there is no teams, and there is no ING. So, it is do, and there is no ES. Not he, she, or it, so no ES. So, it is do. But maybe you did not know archery, so if you did not know, it's okay. How about the next one? He, da, 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 skiing, skiing. This one has ing, and it is he. Oh, yes, students, good. G, O. E S goes. So our next one. We da, 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 ping pong or table tennis. It has two words in English. This one is difficult. Because there are no teams, but there is a ball. Has a ball, but no team. But yes, you guys are correct. We said play. If it has a ball, we say play. Okay, so next one. How about it? Da, 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 bungee jumping. Maybe you do not know this. You should still be able to answer. Bungee jumping is when you jump from very high, but your feet are tied with rope. And you do not bounce up and down. So it has I and G, so it is go. And it is it, so it has E S. Boy, my writing is very ugly in Zoom. The last one. Maybe the last one. De ta 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 karate. Karate first. There is no I N G. So you know right away it is not go. So it do or play. Yes, it's do. It's just like Muay Thai or Taekwondo. Finish. Oh no, one more. So he, da, 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 handball. Handball. I don't know, maybe you don't know the sport of handball. But it has the word ball. So, uh, yes, is play. Handball is similar to football, but you use your hands. You throw and catch the ball and not kick it. And he, so add S. Okay. Ah, you guys did pretty good. So here are all the answers for you. Nice and neat, not like my writing. So go, plays, do, goes, play, goes, do, plays. I put in blue if it has an S or ES, and then red if there is no S or ES. Oh, review. What activity is this? Basketball. 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 Ice ski. Ice This is hockey. Don't ice ski. ski. This is hockey. Uh, there is ice skating. They are ice skating hockey. as well. But ice skating is with no... Hockey, one million percent. 
So the last thing uh, you can do now in the chat work and do focus work. Write three sentences. One sentence with the word go, one sentence with do, and one sentence with play about things you like to do, things that you do. So you can write I go. I, do, I play. So you can fill in the blanks. Okay, so if you did not finish in the chat, uh, it's all the time for today. So you read in your book three sentences, and when we come back to school.